Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna start out with a basic stick figure. It's gonna be your pretty much your bone layout. So we're gonna use that circle for our hand. We're gonna circle it off and get our shoulder made up. We're gonna. It's a little hard to do straight circles with digital pins. I'm kind of new to the digital thing, but I'm, I really enjoy it because you can really detail your stuff a lot more than you can if it's just an ordinary, you know, pencil because you can't see it as close. You can zoom in on this. Let's get them shoulders good and in there. Um, this is actually one of the simplest things you can draw when it comes to comics is the arm. Yeah, tricep. That's my favorite part to draw on the arm, actually. Um, Oh, the um, difficult part about the arm is whenever you start moving it in positions, you have to really know how the muscles stretch out. And I would suggest probably looking at uh, muscle magazines or finding bodybuilder pictures on the internet or something like that. Yeah, it's very difficult whenever like um, the arms are laying out straight. This pose isn't so bad because you know it's just one way all the muscles, you know. They're gonna go one way. Um, get in there and erase all that extra lines. We don't need them anymore. Get in there and get ready to really get some detail in this one. And as I said, that this is one of the easiest parts on the comic book and comics. One of the human anatomies to draw. Um, it's all pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I don't want to make it sound so simple. You know that. You know, some I know some people can't draw, but I mean, if you really get in there and start taking your time and really try to learn it, it's really easy to pick up on. I try to find the easiest ways to um, show people, you know, the best way to do this. I mean, I'm I've never been to art school or anything like that. I'm self-taught. I've got you know everything I've learned. I learned from like Christopher Hart's Cutting Edge Anatomy or. Greg Capillero's little depictions they used to do on the wizard. Um, but this is where I got his arm from. Greg Capillero got used to do spawn and it's like um, he still does coverage from time to time but and I've added a few of my own things in there that because you know usually when you do someone else method not all of it will work for you. But um, the detail here is really good. Um, Let's get in there and get them shoulders more detailed. Help me get rid of that right there. That's not looking right. Man, that really came out crummy. It's a little cool with the digital because you can go in and you can detail things that you just can't see on, you know, when you're doing pencil. Maybe my sight is not as good as anyone else's. I don't know. Everyone else's. <clears throat> but you can, you can just see things, you know, on the digital pen because you can zoom it, which you can't do with regular paper. I still really like to draw a regular paper, but um, this way takes a long time. I mean, a very long time if you're doing something that you really want to work on. And I, in fact, I've only finished one picture since I've been doing digital, and I've been doing it for almost a year. Um, but the regular is like that, but I, I don't know. It just take, takes so long to draw, and you got to really put some time and effort into it. Let's get in here and detail that real good. Yeah, that, the the bicep is really looking good now. Let's put some veins on there. Okay, let's go back over that hand. And um, I can draw the fingers hanging out, but this is more about an arm. I'll do another tutorial later trying to show you the, how to do the fingers, but uh, this is going to be the first one I do. I really enjoy draw, drawing arms, and as you can see, what is this? You know, you could turn this arm into Spider-Man. It looks a little dark to be Spider-Man, but it could be turned into that. Here's a, another one that I had done. This is a Deadpool, and I just wanted to show you this for the arm. You can see when I'm really taking my time, and like I was saying, and if you look at the elbow, which is one of the most difficult parts I had when drawing this this arm. I messed up on a couple of times, but this is an unfinished picture, and I have a lot of these. Like I was saying, I hardly finish them on the digital. But if you take the elbow, if you're having a problem with the wrist, and you take and make an X from the elbow to the wrist, and then you erase the line, it will come out as perfect wrist every time. And if you need an example of that, I'll show you. If you have any questions, just ask and.
until next time, next tutorial. This one works out, I'll make more if we don't. <clears throat> uh, this will be the end of it. Okay, thank you until next time, bye.